winner takes all. And here's your host, Jeffrey Wheeler. Hello and welcome once again and for the last time in the series to Winner Takes All. My goodness me, can you imagine it? Ten weeks and 60 programmes we've been playing. And that's 60 times I've said, as I say once again, let's say hello to our hostess, Vicky McDonald. Vicky. <laughs> programs can you believe it I know so many so many, so many. and do you know you haven't changed a bit except of course for these lovely outfits that you're always wearing Thanks, look. but I did notice something as you came down a little sort of sparkle, sparkle. Uh, just have a look oh look at that Vicky's engaged Congratulations. <laughs> what's his name Vicky his name's Nicholas and Nicholas, Nicholas and when are you and Nicholas going to get married I think next June sometime like that every happiness to you both thanks very much let's go meet the contestants <laughs> Who do we have? Well, over here on your right, we have Tricia Ellis from Rotherham. Hello, Tricia. And here we have David Cash from Manchester. Splendid. Hello, Dave. Thank you. So, Dave from Manchester, a laboratory technician and especially interested in science fiction. Is that right? Oh, yes, I am indeed. Uh, do you read a lot? I mean, you're, do you write it? What happens? No, no. I'm an avid reader. I read somewhere in the region of two, two books a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe three books sometimes, depending oh. on how long they are. And do you like to travel too? Where do you like to go to, Dave? Um, I've been to several countries in southern Europe, Spain, Greece, um, and finally I ended up in Bulgaria. Why Bulgaria particularly? Uh, that's where I met my wife. Oh, wow. Well, that's very special associations for you, doesn't it? Yes. Pretty country, beautiful country, is it? It is. It's a gorgeous country. Lovely. Fine. Well, let's meet your opponent, and that's Tricia. And uh, you're from Rotherham and a library assistant there. Yes, Tricia. Uh, does, that, does that keep you very busy, Tricia? Oh. Fairly, yes. <laughs> do people ask you what time? I mean, uh, Dave here knows what he likes to read. Do, do people come in and say, I don't know what to read? Yes, what they do. I... They very often ask you to re recommend books. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that must be nice yeah. because you get people interested and then you find them coming back That's for more. That's right, yes. You, you make friends with people in the library. I should think yeah. you do. Yeah. Yes, you must have lots of friends in Rotherham, I would think. Well, I think so. Well, I know you're going to make even more friends when people uh, see you on the screen, because they're going to get to know you and watch you as you play against Dave to try to build up as many points as you can to get into the final to meet Stephen Murphy. I can tell you he intends to finish the series with even more than his £610. Let's see if you can yeah. stop him. Here comes your first question. What kind of a spoon are aristocrats said to be born with? Is it tin? Copper, silver, gold, or jewelled? Now, out of your 30 points, Trisha, how many will you go? 30, please, Jeff. Right, what about you, Dave? I'll go on the same 30. Right, hope. Press your button. Make your choice. They're born with a silver spoon in their mouth. You're quite right. Well done. Thank you. Some music to cheer you up now. Listen to this. voice of Lady Day, but whose voice is it? Is it Billie Holiday, Bessie Smith, Ottilie Patterson, Cleo Lane, or Ella Fitzgerald? You've got 150 points, Tricia. How many would you go? 30, please. 30. What about you, Dave? Uh, I'll go 20, please. Right here, a bit more cautious. Press your button. You've both gone for Billie Holiday. Yes, you're both right. <clears throat> Billy Holiday, Lady Day, there she is. So, how does that leave the score now? 190 plays 210 as we come into the third question. In which serial did a character called Scullion play a significant role? Was it Porterhouse Blue, Brideshead Revisited, Gordy Knight, The Glittering Prizes, or Blot on the Landscape? Since you're in the lead, Tricia, I'll ask you how many you'll venture of your 210. Uh, 30, please. 30. What about you, Dave? Uh, I think I'll go 30 as well. Right. Make your choice. You both think it was Porterhouse Blue? Well, let's take a look at this picture. And there we see David Jason, who got a BAFTA award for his portrayal of Scullion in Porterhouse Blue. You're absolutely right. 
Well done. 250 plays 270. The gap's closing. The next question has come from a viewer, and that's uh, John Brown of Winscombe in Avon. Thank you very much indeed, John. The pen is on its way to you now. And here comes your question for our contestants. How many seats has the United Kingdom in the European Parliament? Is it 61, 71, 81, 91, or 101? So, how many would you go, Tricia? Uh, 20, please. 20. What about you, Dave? Uh, I'll go 20 as well. Right. Make your choice. 61 says one, 71 the other. You're both wrong. I'm afraid the answer out of 518 seats is 81. 81 seats for the European Parliament for Britain. Right for the United Kingdom. So, there we are. We now have 230, plays 250. You're still just in the lead, Tricia. And we come to the last question. What is oakum made from? Is it made from paper, from roots, from cork, oak apples or old rope how many would you go on this one Tricia 30 please 30 what about you Dave I'll go 30 as well fine right here make your choice for the last time you both say it's from old rope well let's take a look I won't tell you what it is yet just let me say that the stuff on the left there is rolled up like the stuff on the right there and then it's laid along the deck of a ship, and with those chisel-like implements, it's hammered into the spaces between the planks on the deck of a ship. And it all comes from old rope. And this is what it looks like when it's in situ. So there's your ship, nicely caulked with oakum, which has come, as you rightly guessed, from old rope. Dave, you ran, you ran it very close. You got 530 points, which is a good score. Not enough to beat uh, Tricia, though, our librarian from Rotherham. She, she knew what the score was, but it's been good That's having you good. with us. And so you will be going back to mm. Manchester, taking the encyclopedia with you. It's been fun having you with us. Thank Dave. you very much. <laughs> Tricia, I'm going to make a note that, of that uh, score. That's 550 there. That may be enough to get you into the final to meet Stephen. Whether it is or not, we'll find out in just a moment when we meet the next two people who are going to play. Winner takes all. <laughs> and Vicky, who have we now? Well, here we have Mike Hollins from Stockport. Hello, Mike. And over here we have Carol Hulston from Yapton. Thank you very much indeed, Vicky. <laughs> Carol from uh, Yapton, that's near Arundel, isn't it? That's right, Is yes. It ni uh, nice country fire down there, beautiful country? Uh, yes, yes, Arundel's just inland from Bognor Regis and Little Hampton, but we're quite rural. Mm. And uh, you, you, I gather, are very interested in cooking, especially Indian cooking. Yes, yes, well, um, we used to go out for quite a lot of Indian meals, and I was quite interested on how you get to do it yourself, so I sort of bought a book and... You know, we, we practice now and again. <laughs> yes, splendid. Okay. You've, got a, you've got a little girl, Samantha, she's two. That's right, yes. And Samantha's going to have a brother or sister sometime soon. Yes, yes, in December, actually, December, December. the 3rd. Oh, well, I hope all goes well with that. Thank you. Carol, <clears throat> lovely to have you on the show. And your opponent is uh, Mike Hollins from Stockport. Hi. And you're a computer consultant. Yes, I am. And, yes. You're, and you're fascinated by computer games, I gather. Uh, well, yes, there's a, a great scope for enjoyment in playing with computers. It's the sort of thing that you're not allowed to do at work, so... Mm. So you, Wait till you I get home and play all your frustrations to you on it. Uh, yeah, killing a few aliens helps, yes. <laughs> and you're interested in amateur dramatics too? Yes, that's right. Uh, recently we did a pantomime in which I played Happy, one of the seven dwarfs. And uh, my wife told the children that they'd have to go along as this might be the only occasion they ever saw their father happy. Which was <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> Splendid. All right. Well, as you know, you're, you're trying to build up the, the, as big a total as you can to get into the final to meet uh, Stephen Murphy. You know that, yep. don't you? So here comes your very first question. Are you ready? Yes. Who is nicknamed the Grinder? Is it Jimmy White, Steve Davis, Dennis Taylor, Cliff Thorburn, or Alex Higgins? Out of your 30 points, Mike. Uh, I'll go 30, please, You Jeffrey. will go 30. What about you, Karen? Goodness, um, I'll go 15, please. All right. Make your choice. Uh, and you both think it's Cliff Thorburn? Well, let's take a look. Yes, you're right, it's Cliff Thorburn. Well done. 
I wouldn't like to have to play against him. He really grinds his opponents mm -hmm. down, doesn't he? It really does. So, how are we now? 105 plays 180. Second question. What were Oxford bags? Were they trousers, mittens, boots, large pockets, or sleeves? Uh, I'll go 30 again, please. Right-ho. And Carol? And I'll go 30 as right. well. Press your buttons. Make a choice. And you both say they were trousers. Let's have a look. And as you see, Oxford bags worn by Julian, the very latest thing for his trip on the river. And, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they are trousers. <laughs> so, 165 to 240 is the score as we come to the third question in your round. Here it is. Who described fox hunting as the unspeakable in full pursuit of the uneatable? Was it Oscar Wilde, Max Beerbohm, Dorothy Parker, Gertrude Stein, or Hilaire Belloc? And uh, who's in the lead? You're in the lead, Mike. How many would you go? Uh, I'll go 30 again, please, Geoffrey. Right-ho. What about you, Carol? I'll try 30 as well. Good. Press your buttons. Mike thinks it's Oscar Wilde. Carol thinks it's Dorothy Parker. Let's take a look. <laughs> and it is Oscar Wilde. Yes. <laughs> That's done your score good. You've got 300 now, uh, Mike. You've got 135, Carol. You could catch up, though. So, listen carefully now and see if you can. And tell me, whose voice is this? There were fine sunsets even in the square sometimes. One could see parts of them, however, between the chimneys and over the roofs. A few days after the Indian gentleman was brought to his new home, Sarah was standing on her table, looking out at such a sunset, with floods of molten gold covering the west. It's a splendid one, said Sarah softly to herself. It makes me feel almost afraid. Mm. Love listening to people reading things, mm. don't you? Especially when they have nice voices. But whose voice was it? Was it Judy Dench, Maureen Lipman, Prunella Scales, Glenda Jackson, or Carol Drinkwater? You're still in the lead, Mike. It's your privilege. Uh, I'll risk 30, please, Jeffrey. 30, right here. What about you, Carol? Yes, I'll have to go 30, please. Well, yes. <laughs> Why not? right here. Press your button. Uh, uh. Glenda Jackson, Carol Drinkwater, the alternatives. I'm afraid you're both wrong. Have a look. It's oh. Maureen Lipman. Exactly like Maureen that. Lipman. And she was reading from A Little Princess. So, how does that make your scores now? 105 to 270. And we come to the last question. And I want you to take a look at something. Now, these are Arbroath Smokies. What fish is smoked to form an Arbroath smoky? Is it a herring, a mackerel, a trout, a salmon, or haddock? Just let me remind you again. What fish is smoked to form an Arbroath smoky? Is it herring, mackerel, trout, salmon, or haddock? Mike, how much will you go on this one? Uh, I'll try 30, please, Geoffrey. Carol? I'll try 30 as well. You'll well. go 30. Make your choice. Right. Herring, thinks Carol. Salmon, thinks Mike. Well, that's a pity because you missed making a lot of points there because it is the 10 to 1, the haddock. It's the haddock. And there it is. The haddock. The noble haddock. Well, I'm afraid, Carol, that uh, 75 points wasn't enough, really, to, to carry mm. you on, was it? No, indeed. Did, did you enjoy it, though, all the way yes. from uh, Arundel there? Yes, we've had a lovely time, thank you. It's been grand having mm. you with us, and I hope that all goes well, as I say, when the baby arrives. We shall be thinking of you. Thank and you. thank you now for joining us as you take with you the encyclopedia to remind you of your visit. Lovely, Carol. thank you very much. Mike, you did very well, 240 points, but Tricia Ellis in the first round, you didn't know this because you were shut away in a little room, got 550 points. So I have to say goodbye to you, also going back, this time to Stockport, with your encyclopedia. It's been good having you with us. Right, Mike, thank you, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> but we shall be seeing the contest of the Giants as Tricia Ellis meets Stephen Murphy in the final of the final. Don't miss that.
Hello and welcome back to the final final. And taking part on my left here, Stephen Murphy from Liverpool and a keen Liverpool supporter, I believe, Stephen. That's right, yeah, yes, yes. Indeed. So, uh, have you got your season ticket? Mm. That's right. With my first day's winnings, whatever happened, I bought the season ticket for next season, so I was quite happy after that. Oh, so when Everything the has been a bonus. got you through the turnstile? That's right. Till next May. I'm happy till next May. Well, good luck to the team. Good luck to you, especially you. in this final. Whether you will be successful at the end of the day depends on Tricia over here. Tricia, the lady from Rotherham, and your hobby is making patchwork. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, well, I make uh, tray cloths, um, aprons, things like that. Mm. I think it's a, an interesting hobby. Yes. What's the biggest thing you've ever made? Uh, a quilt. <laughs> I'm still making it. After eight years, I'm still making it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you'll ever finish it, but I, I know that you're so. going to finish our contest in a moment with your help, Tricia. Good luck to you as well. You both, as you know, have got £30 to start with. Off we go with the first question. Which industry is known as Tin Pan Alley. Is it metalworking, pop music, advertising, steel, or tinkers? Thirty pounds you've got, Tricia. How much will you venture? Thirty, please, Jeff. Right here. What about you, Steve? I'll go thirty as well. Press that money button firmly and then make your choice. Both gone for pop music? Yes, of course, you're both right. Well done. 120 pounds each as we come to the second question, not uh, altogether disconnected with the first one in a way. Listen to this. Not exactly pop music, but the military march, Colonel Bogey. Well, who wrote Colonel Bogey? Was it? Kenneth Alford, Robert Farnan, John Philip Sousa, Eric Coates, or Johann Strauss? Tricia, mm. tell me how much you'd like to go on this one. Uh, 20, please. 20. Stephen? I think 20 for me as well. 20 yes. for you, right? Yes. Oh, matching each other, mm. stalking each other very carefully. Put the money in and press the button of your choice. Right, Eric Coates thinks Tricia, Kenneth Alford thinks Stephen. It was Kenneth Alford. Kenneth Alford. <laughs> I'd like you to take a look at two pictures of him. There he is. His real name, that was his pen name. His real name was Frederick Joseph Ricketts. And uh, he was uh, director of music, first of all for a Highland Regiment, and then in the Royal Marines. And you see him in the uniforms of both of those on that picture there. Great writer of great military music. Splendid. So how do we stand now? 160 for Stephen, 100 for you, Tricia. But don't get depressed. There's a long way to go. We come to the third question. Tell me. If you sailed up the Skagarak and sailed down the Kattegat, which country would be to the south? Would it be Australia, Denmark, Sardinia, Panama, or Russia? And Stephen, it's your privilege to say how much you'd like to get. I think I'll go 30. Right. What about you, Tricia? 30, please. Right. Make your choice. You both think Denmark? Take a look at this. There's the Skagarak, there's the Kattegat, and let's pull out. And you see it is indeed Denmark. Well done. <laughs> probably recognise the quote from the verse of wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen, Kenny Kay's song, all about that. So, on to the next question, and the scores, 250 to 190, is still quite hard on his heels, Trisha. Take a look at this. And tell me, where is this piece of water sculpture? Is it at Milton Keynes, Birmingham, in the Barbican, Carlisle, or Gatwick? Just remind you of your choice. So, where is that piece of water sculpture? Is it Milton Keynes, Birmingham, in the Barbican, in Carlisle, or at Gatwick? And uh, how many will you go on this one, Stephen? I'll go 30, please. You'll go 30. What about you, Tricia? 20, please. 20? Make a choice. Right, Milton Keynes thinks Trisha, Gatwick thinks Stephen, the ten to one shot, the correct answer is Gatwick. <laughs> there, I don't know if you know, uh, Stephen, apparently there are two um, water sculptures, one called Jet Stream, one called uh, Slip Stream, and they're in the new terminal at Gatwick Airport. I had a feeling I'd seen it somewhere. 
Have you? You've yeah. seen that somewhere. Yes, well, mm. it's just as well you remembered because that's done your total a lot of good. You're now 550. You are 170, Tricia, as we come to the last question. Gondwana land is the name given to one of the hypothetical continental land masses. Now, which of these places was not, was not part of Gondwana land? Was it India, Britain, Africa, Australia or Antarctica? So, how many will you go on this one, Stephen? Uh, 30, please. You may as well, I think. Tricia? 30, please. Right. Make your choice. Tricia thinks it's India. Stephen thinks it's Britain. The correct answer is Britain. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we are. We come to the end of the contest. Tricia, you'll be taking an encyclopedia back to Rotherham with you. you. And you'll be taking some money back to Liverpool. Mm -hmm. But why don't you both come down and we'll have a chat about it. Well, you played a very good game. Did you enjoy it, Tricia? Yes, very much. Well, it's been grand having you on the show. Stephen, what's your final total? 1,250. Well, that'll look after several seasons it's at Liverpool United, won't it? Won't it? Yes, it well, that's grand. Well, that really is the end of the series now. Um, before we come to that, I'm going to ask Vicky to present you with your cheque. There we are. Well done. I especially want to introduce you to somebody who, for this series, had written close on a thousand questions, each with five parts. What a task. Our question setter and my very dear friend, Deborah Sutherland. <laughs> Deborah. And so there we are, on behalf of uh, all the contestants who've taken part in the series over these past ten weeks, on behalf of Deborah, Vicky, myself, Terry Hennebury, all the production team, it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us. And do try to join us again next time, whenever that may be, that we play Winner Takes All. Goodbye. <laughs>